pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Welcome to the Vietnam Veterans News Podcast. News of interest about Vietnam veterans from a Vietnam veteran. Now, here's your host, Mac Payne. This is Mac Payne here with episode 1812 of the Vietnam Veteran News Podcast. News about the Vietnam War and the brave veterans who served there, as told to you by yours truly, a Vietnam veteran. In this episode, I'm going to talk about every Vietnam veteran's favorite weapon, the M72 Law Anti-Armor Weapon, better known as the Law. They were a small little weapon that packed a powerful punch. I was surprised to find out that the Marines are still using the M72 Law Weapon. That means they've been using it for about 50 years. Where there's some big news about the law coming up, I'm going to share with you. But first, my good buddy Willie Thomas has an important message just for you. This episode is brought to you by Legacy Staffs, which are crafted by the Brazos Walking Stick Company in Waco, Texas. You can go to brazosticks.com and use the name Mac Payne, one word, at the checkout and get 10% off your next order of the Legacy Staff or Cane of your own design. Thank you, Willie, for that important message. I'd like to encourage everyone here to go to that website and seriously consider getting your own specially designed legacy staff. The guys out at Brazo Sticks Company in Waco tell me those legacy staffs are just flying out the door. They can hardly make them fast enough to keep up with demand. When I heard that, I realized... Anybody who is interested in getting one of these tremendous works of art had better get it soon because they may just withdraw that 10% discount they're offering. So don't delay. Take the advice of Willie Thomas. Go to brazosticks.com, use my name, Mac Payne, one word, in the checkout, and get that 10% discount off your specially designed legacy staff. Now let's talk a little bit about the M72 Law Weapon. It proved itself to be very valuable in Vietnam. It was a fairly light weapon to carry. All you had to do was extend the barrel, make sure no friendlies were standing behind you, and then you just aim it in the handy little sight that would pop up when you extended it, press that button, and all hell would break loose on whatever you aimed at. I knew it was a good weapon, but I was a little surprised to hear they were still using it in the Marines. I guess the Marines know a good thing when they've got it and wanted to hold on to it. There's some big news about the M72 law on the Task and Purpose website. There was a story in there about it titled, Marines are getting a lethal upgrade to their iconic Vietnam-era rocket launcher. As a Vietnam veteran, I am glad to hear there's still something from that war being used today, effectively. This story was provided by Jared Keller to The Task and Purpose. Jared Keller is no writer right out of high school. He is a very accomplished writer. He's deputy editor of The Task and Purpose. His writing has appeared in the Aeon, the Los Angeles Review of Books, The New Republic, Pacific Standard, Smithsonian, and The Washington Post, among other publications. If you'd like to get in touch with Jared and talk to him further about the new law coming up or any of the other exciting things that he is writing about, you can reach him at Jared, that's J-A-R-E-D, at taskandpurpose, spell out and, dot com. By the way, not only will his email address be on the show notes for this podcast episode, but there will also be an image of Jared. So you can see the person who wrote this story I'm going to share with you. I encourage you to go over to the podcast website, Vietnam Veteran News, and check out the show notes for episode 1812. There you will see a U.S. Marine deploying an M72 law weapon. You can see him pulling out the barrel and getting ready to fire it. 
I'm sure the guy next to him has cleared the area to his rear. Those things could do just about as much damage to somebody standing behind it as it could to somebody out in front of it. Go over there and check out that picture. It'll give you a much better frame of reference when you hear Jared Keller's story about the upgrade of this iconic Vietnam-era rocket launcher. Let's take a look at what Jared has to say about it. The Marine Corps is working to procure and field a next-generation anti-tank rocket launcher system that significantly reduces backblast within the next several years, the service announced on Monday. The Army Contracting Command in late July issued a request for proposals on behalf of Marine Corps Systems Command for a new 66mm M72 light anti-armor weapon fire from enclosure, better known as FFE, munition developed by NAMO. Unveiled in June of 2018, NAMO's new 13-pound FFE system is characterized as a compact, lightweight, single-shot weapon system that incorporates an improved launcher with an enhanced inline trigger mechanism and improved sling design, according to Marco Syscom. I'm assuming that's short for Marine Corps Systems Command. The upgrade does not offer just a suite of adjustments to the M72 fire control system, but purportedly all but eliminates backblast, the heat and overpressure created by each round that can limit the use of anti-tank weapons in combat. According to Marcor Syscom, the new M72 system enables Marines to fire several shots per day from inside a room, a tremendous boom for Marines operating from, say, a secure bunker downrange. Pardon me, but just a few shots per day does not sound like a whole lot of firepower. Maybe they should go outside and they can shoot more of them. Continuing. When firing at night, the upgraded M72's muzzle flash and backblast is less than that of an M9 pistol per Marcor Syscom. As task and purpose previously observed, less backblast and a reduced noise and visual signature will allow troops to unleash on light armored vehicles from fortified enclosed positions, ostensibly offering an increase in lethality with less risk of opening troops up to enemy fire. I would have put it this way. It would give them less risk of being fired on by the enemy. Continuing. The new law, FFE, is a true fire from an enclosure capability unlike anything the Marine Corps has ever seen. Warren Clare, the program manager for ammunition at Mar Corps Syscom, said in a statement, It will become a force multiplier. Love those force multipliers. Continuing. Grunts appear to agree. In 2018, troops with the 3rd Battalion, 4th Marine Regiment got a chance to test out the new rockets during the Urban Antics 18 Urban Warfare exercise and deemed the new rounds a game changer, as Lance Corporal Sam Elichot told Defense News at the time. First adopted by the Army and Marine Corps at the height of the Vietnam War, the M72 has remained a staple of infantry arsenals for over half a century. That means it was a very effective weapon. The new FFE comes in two configurations, according to Marcor Syscom, an M72A8 anti-armor warhead and the M72A10 multi-purpose anti-structure munition that gives Marines the added capability of leveling small buildings. The M72A10 incorporates an advanced warhead design with a multi-purpose explosive and a self-discriminating fuse that operates in either fast or delay mode based on target construction. Richard Dooley, a project officer for Maneuver Ammunition and Missile Programs with MCSC's PMMO, said in a statement, It's a lot of work just to pronounce that guy's job title. Continuing, 
These advancements enable Marines to engage various targets such as structures, bunkers, and enemy personnel. It's unclear how much the upgrade will cost. Funding for an M-72 law upgrade does not appear in the service's fiscal year 2021 budget request. Cost does not really seem to be a factor in Washington these days. Today, up there in Washington, it's like, A trillion dollars here and a trillion dollars there. It's no big deal. All they've got to do is get to Nancy Pelosi and ask her to put funding for the new M-72 law upgrade in the bill she's trying to push through the Congress. That would do it right there. However they get her done, I do hope that the Marines are able to get this upgraded version of the M-72. I personally know it is a very effective weapon. As they say, it'll be a force multiplier. That's the news coming out of the Task and Purpose website about the Marines getting an upgraded M-72 law weapon. In my opinion, that's a great thing. We need to have a military that can defend us against anybody, any place in the world. That's my opinion, and I'm sticking to it. This is Mac Payne closing out episode 1812 of the Vietnam Veteran News Podcast. Thank you so much for listening. You are cordially invited to return again soon and often to listen to more that will be coming your way on this podcast, the Vietnam Veteran News. How about that? Ain't that a mess?